In the summer of 1960, a group of Earlham faculty and students had the opportunity to dig up the bones of a mastodon. We dug down to the skull, finally, and had to clean out quite a bit of sand. After the skull had lodged in the ground, apparently there had been some flooding, and the water had brought a load of sand with it. The sand had filled up the brain cavity and helped protect the skull from being crushed by the layers of soil which accumulated over it. Here you can see that it's later in the season. The corn is larger, and we're again bucket brigading the muck and sand out of the hole. Someone had probed in here and had found that there was a bone somewhere, and in order not to have the bank collapse, we had to dig away that overburden. Jim Wells very kindly said that we could dump this material up in his cornfield. Andy Merritt has the science division bus and is unloading some of the bones which are packed in it. A collection of bones such as this forms a good study collection, very much like a library full of books, even if they are not used as complete mounted specimens, as our uh, large mastodon in the museum is. The uh, older mastodon came from the Bookout Farm near Losantville, north of Richmond. 